Welcome to the City of Santa Rosa Districtor Demonstration. We will first show you where to find the Districtor tool on the City of Santa Rosa redistricting website, and then we're going to go in and give a tutorial. So if you go to the City of Santa Rosa website, you will see as we scroll down that there's a big purple button on the top left that says Submit a Draft Map Online Now. That is where you will click to um, access the Districtor um, tool. We also see right below there is a video recording of how to use Districtor that was recorded at the January 25th City Council meeting. So we're going to go ahead and click on that purple button. And here we'll see the City of Santa Rosa Districtor website. So there's a couple of sections. The first section gives you a little bit of information on the background of the census, on redistricting, on the data that we're using. As we keep scrolling down, you're going to see that you have the ability to draw a community of interest map and a district-based map. And today we're going to show you how to draw that district-based map. If you keep scrolling, you'll see the public gallery. And we already see a number of submissions that have been received, which is wonderful. And so we'll show you where and what button to click to have your map added to this gallery. You also have a, a portion of this where it is a work in progress. So any draft maps will be in this section. And then finally, the about section gives you some more information on the data that is used on Districtor. Another note there, Districtor is in online mapping platform that other jurisdictions are utilizing. So we really want to make sure that we are clicking on the Santa Rosa Districtor website. So we're going to click on this purple button. Again, we're here to draw district-based maps. So a couple of things to note. On the top left section, you have the ability to zoom in and zoom out. And you also have the ability to orient your map pointing north. The background portion of this map, we have the outline of your city and also these gray geographies here in the background. And if we remember what that purple button said, it said draw a district base boundary out of blocks. Blocks And census blocks are the smallest unit of census geography. And so that's how the city is broken up in those census blocks. On the right hand side, we have a couple of buttons up here on the top right. The first button that is highlighted automatically as you open this platform is called the pan tool. This tool allows you to move that map around, also gives the ability to zoom in and zoom out of the map. We also have the paintbrush tool on the right where we can see there are seven different colors here and we can also change the size of our brush stroke to grabbing a large portion of those census blocks to doing one by one. You also have the erase tool, which does the same thing, where you can make a larger erase tool to erase more or go down and just erase small portions. The final button on the top right before we go into the drawing demo is your inspector tool, where if you hover over a specific census block, it'll give you more information on that block, including the total population and the ethnic breakdown of that specific block. So we're going to go back to the brush tool and we're going to click on the color blue. So the color that you are currently using will be a circle and the rest of the colors will be a square. So we're going to make our brush a little bit larger and then you can click on the map one by one to grab portions of the census box or you can click on the map and drag your mouse down. So those are the two ways that you can go ahead and grab more of those census blocks to be a part of your particular district. We see as we are grabbing more of these census blocks that this bar is moving in real time to the right. This bar allows you to see all of the total count that are being a part of the district that you're drawing. And the line in the middle shows the ideal number of people in a particular district if you were to draw districts of exactly equal size. So if you remember, it, the number one criteria for redistricting is to draw districts of relatively equal size. So you're not bound to draw districts of exactly perfect size. You do have some room uh, to have districts that are a little bit smaller and a little bit more populated. 
Now to change your color, you can click on another color and now we have this yellow one that is a circle. Another thing as you're working here, if you have a district that is perfect, you don't want to make any changes to it, you want to go ahead and click this button that says lock already drawn districts. Now I won't be able to uh, modify that blue district or take any portions of that with the yellow one that, that I'm drawing. Uh, you'll see here there is the difference between the community of interest tool and the district based tool. We will only be able to draw up to seven districts for our particular tool. Um, in the community of interest tool, you have an unlimited amount of, of community of interest that you can draw. Okay, we're going to just have a little bit more on the map and then we'll talk more of what we see here on the right side. If you want to uh, produce a map and save a map that is a full plan. We want to keep an eye on this unassigned population. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're talking about. So the unassigned, so everything that is not currently in a district, that number is going to be right here for you in real time. You'll also be able to click on this button that says highlight unassigned units. This will show us all of the census blocks that are also currently not in a district at the moment. Districtor uh, gives you the max population deviation of a district. It uh, does not give you the total plan deviation of a district, and redistricting partners will be able to give that to you in the council, uh, but it only gives you the max population. Uh, what we want to look at here is having the total plan deviation be, be within a 10%. Um, and again, you can go ahead and draw your plan, and redistricting partners will, will look and see what your total plan deviation is. So what it does is it gives you the district that has the largest deviation here. For this instance, is this teal district. Right now it's at 41.63. And again, if we want to lower this district, we'll go to that erase tool. And now I can take out some population for that district to get it closer to that ideal size. So we've gone through the brush stroke, the erase, all these buttons up here at the top. Now we're going to look at some additional data layers and then finally we'll show you how to save your map to that gallery. So we're going to click on data layers. You are currently, it will already show you the painted districts which we've drawn. You can also show the numbers if you'd like from one or five. If you just like to have those numbers up. You also can see the current boundaries of Santa Rosa as reference of a reference point, you can turn those on and off. You can also see your population by race. So you can show the total population of your city. You can also look at that if you click variable, go down to this tab, look at the, diff the different ethnic populations based on race. We can also see that based on the citizen voting age population. And this is a data set that is also from the census and it shows you all of this population that is over the age of 18. Uh, this is the data set that we would utilize if we were drawing any majority minority districts, but we would need your legal counsel to direct us to do so. So you have those different um, ethnic CVAPs as well. The final tab before we show you how to save your map is the evaluation tab where you can look at your districts in comparison to one another, also based on race, and you can compare those. You can change out these variables, look at how they fare from district to district. So right now, because we only drew three uh, districts at the moment, again, just for example purposes, we see those in shaded with percentages. And if we click on the citizen voting age population by race, we can see that as well. So those are the tabs that we have. And now if you're ready to save your map, to either share it directly to the gallery or to save it as a draft. You're going to want to click on the Save button here up at the top. And now up will pop a new window, which will give you some more information. So if you want to save your map directly to that gallery that we saw at the home page, you can click on this green button. You also have the ability to title your map or name it. One of the differences between the Community of Interest tool and the District-based tool is that you see that there was no place on the map for you to give 
extra information on your plan, the reasoning behind your plan. So you can go ahead and title your plan, but then another way where you can give that information is to attend a meeting, send an email, so you can give more context to the council of the basis for your plan. You also have the ability to save it as a draft, so you're gonna to wanna to click work in progress and then save as draft at the bottom. You can also, if you'd like, uh, share your specific URL link around to neighbors, to friends, by clicking copy to board, and then your specific URL link for this plan uh, will be something that you can share. But the best way to ensure that the council is able to see your map is to share it directly to that gallery. Also, if you have a map in the gallery that you've saved, you can go in, open it, edit it, and then resave that as a new plan if you really like the base of a plan that is already in existence. Uh, the final button is this one at the top right with three lines. If we go ahead and click on that, we can print your map out as a PDF if you'd like to do that. You also have the ability, if you'd like to look at this in another mapping software, such as a Maptitude or Esri software, you can download this as a GeoJSON or a shapefile, and then you can evaluate this plan uh, more on your own time. So that is the district-based demo. Um, again, if we go back to our homepage and then finally back to the city of Santa Rosa. So again, the best place to submit your plan is to visit the city of Santa Rosa website, click on that purple button, draw your map and submit it to the city. Thank you.